All right. Before we start, you just need to go to the kitchen, get yourself a snack, maybe some popcorn, a drink, because this one's going to take a little bit of time. You might have to watch this a few times. We're going to work on this in class. This is just your introduction. Take the notes, get an understanding of it, so that when we work through this in class, you're already kind of ahead of the game. Here we go. I like this stuff. They're little problems. They're little brain teasers. It's good for your, it's good for your brain. See? You see I have no hair? It's because my brain, it pushes it all out. My head, my brain is so big, crazy from doing these problems. Okay. Oh, that and I'm just getting old and my hair is falling out. But hey, here we go. A combination lock. A combination lock like this actually has, what, 9,000... 9,999 possible combinations. You could go and try all 9,999 combinations and see which one opens the lock. That's one way to open the lock. But would it be better if I told you, hey, you know what? The combination is either 2, 3, 8, 9, 2, 6, 4, 2, 2, 9, 1, 8, or 3817. What if I told you one of those four unlocks it? Is that better than knowing nothing? You can either try 9,999 combinations, or you can try one of these four, and one of these four is going to work. Well, this is a better deal, right? It's better to know something than nothing. And that's how this is going to work. We're going to list out possible combinations. We're going to find a few combinations and in those few combinations one of them will be the correct combination. It's better than nothing. It's as if I give you oh, another analogy. I'm like the analogy king today. Here we go. Keys. My keys. If I give you this and say, okay, go unlock the door, you would try the different keys, and one of them is going to unlock the door. You can do this. Does it mean a little bit of work? Yes but you are tenacious, persistent, diligent scholars. And you can do this. Here we go. Standard form. Now we're look, looking at the math. Standard form looks like this. A x squared plus b x plus c, where a, b, and c are numbers. Find the factors of a, find the factors of c, which pairs will work. First pair are x's, second pair are not x's, lay the foundation of parentheses, build it, check your signs. You ready for this? Okay, factors of A, factors of C, which pairs will work? Here we go, here we go, here we go. This might be a good time to just pause this, go get a drink, get a snack, something healthy, carrots, celery. We eat a lot of celery at my house. My kids, like, it's like right before bedtime. They're saying, we're hungry, we're hungry. I'm like, okay, you can have some celery or milk. Okay. Here we go. This is A. This is C. Factors of A, 1 times 10, 2 times 5. Factors of 2, 1 times 2. Here we go. 1 and 10 with 1 and 2. 1 and 10 with 2 and 1. These are all the possibilities. 1 and 10 with 1 and 2. 1 and 10 with 2 and 1. 
two and five with one and two, two and five with two and one. One of those, man, got an itchy nose. One of those is going to unlock this problem. Well, pick one and try it. What do you want to try? One and ten with one and two? Let's see. I test it using this kind of happy face thing. Using a 10 and a 2, can you get to a 21? No. That is not the way this thing works. Let's try 1 and 10, 2 and 1. Using a 20 and a 1, can you get to a 21? Yes. What we have found right here is we found the, po the proper combination of numbers, of factors, that's going to make this work. Now we have to put it all together. The first pair these are x's and these are not x's. We're going to build this now. Parentheses. What's our first x? 1x. What's our second x? 10x. My first not x is 2 and 1. I'm building it. Now let's get the signs right to make this thing work. Everything's positive up here, so everything's going to be positive down here. Does this work? Let's check it. Check it out. This gives me 10x squared. That looks good. This gives me 2. That looks good. This gives me 20x. This gives me x. Together, that becomes 21x. It's working for me. It looks good. Let's try another one. Excuse me. All right, factors of 19. What makes a 19? What makes a 19? What does make a 19? 1 times 19. What makes a 2? 1 times 2. This is going to either be 1 and 19 with 1 and 2, or it's going to be 1 and 19 with 2 and 1. One of those pairs is going to work. Let's try. 1 and 19, 1 and 2. Check it using the happy face. Using a 19 and a 2, can you get yourself to a 21? Yes. They're both going to have to be negatives, aren't they, though? OK, now let's start building it. These are my x's right here. These are the x's. These are not the x's. Let's start putting it together. X. 19X. 1, not an X. 2, not an X. Signs on this. Both of them have to be negatives. Let's see, does it work? 19X squared. 19X squared. I know it's P's. I used X's. What's this? Positive 2. Positive 2. This right here. Negative 19x. Negative 2x. They combine to create the negative 21x. It works. I'm testing it every step of the way. I'm testing it. Is it working? It's working. I told you this was going to be a long one. I'm already at nine minutes, nine and a half minutes. Okay, we'll go faster. Here we go. 1 times 13, 3 times 1. Let's see, right there, that's going to give me a 39. Nope, it must be 1 times 13, 1 times 3. That gives me a 3, 13 and a 3. That's looking good. I think I'm building it. Let's see if I can put it together. X. 13x, 1, 3. What are my signs going to have to be on this one? 
One of them has to be negative. One of them has to be positive. Positive, negative. Does that work? 13x squared. 13x squared. Negative 3. Negative 3. 13x minus 3x. That gives me a 10x. It works. Okay, that's it. Thank you. 10 minutes, 20 seconds.